guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've done a sewing tutorial, but I'm not actually going to do a sewing tutorial today, but I am going to do some DIYs. It is Christmas Eve, so I got this video done not as early as I would have liked to, but it still applies, especially if you're looking for just easy, simple, no-sew toys for your ferrets or cats or dogs, because a lot of this stuff could be interchanged. Um, with each animal or you could increase the size or decrease the size and still use it for different pets I have done some of these in previous videos Spread out so I'm gonna pick most popular and probably easiest DIYs to do um, and that's kind of what we're gonna roll with so let's do it I went and stole two of these little balls from my ferrets um, from their toys They got a million of these so we're gonna set these aside for a second. I'm gonna be using those next I'm gonna cut a square of fabric. Maybe we'll do we'll do a 14 by 14 to be safe. I'm just gonna make a 14 by 14 square. You got your 14 by 14 square you're going to fold it in half then you're going to fold it in half again so you should have something that looks like this there should be the finished edges where your folds are and your raw edges okay so you're going to take the um, edges that don't open so this edge that looks smooth that's folded facing you you're going to want to measure up two inches because when you go to cut this here in a second you don't want to cut you want to stop your cut right about there so we're just gonna draw a little mark there that just lets me know that that's a two inch mark okay now you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna measure from the tip to the tip just put a straight line and now let's see oh let's do two inches so measure from your center line measure two inches to the right and mark your fabric and then you're going to measure two inches from the left and mark your fabric so you should have three lines okay now turn it to face you or however you want to do it you're going to want to cut and stop at that where you mark that two inches in this, for the center line. So cut your center, cut all the way down till you hit that two inch mark. And then for your lines on the side, you're just gonna cut those completely off. And do the same thing on the other side. Then you're going to open it up At this point, you can draw a face on the side that's going to be, this is going to be the inside where my pen mark is because I don't want to see that. So if you want to draw a face on here, you can. If you want to draw a face afterwards, which is what I'm going to do, or I might not put a face, it doesn't really matter. Um, so here we have this here. Now let's go get us something to tie this off with. Hold on. Okay, so for this next step, you can do a couple of things. You can use zip tie, a tiny zip tie, if you're have an animal that doesn't eat plastic like ferrets and stuff it may be a little risky to use plastic for me I won't use plastic because I don't trust that my ferrets won't try to eat it um, I won't use a rubber band for the same reason this is a hair tie and while it is elastic they typically won't mess with anything that's covered in cloth so I think this is okay and if you're not comfortable with this you could use just a piece of fleece and use it as a tie um, so you have a couple options grab your ball or whatever you're using um, Stick it in the center and turn this little, actually, hold on, I want to do it this way. Okay, stick your ball in the center. Sorry, I had mine facing the wrong way. Um, and pull it tight. Pull the fabric down tight around it, as tight as you can get it. And then obviously you're going to band that in place. I might still wrap a piece of fleece around this just to hide this band so that they don't see it. 
because um, I don't think they'll mess with it. They, they don't really typically mess with this. My ferrets don't mess with things like this. Some people's ferrets might. And so no, all I can say in this situation is know your pet. <laughs> pay attention to what, um, you know, pay attention to the things they do or don't do. If you, if you're worried about it, use a piece of fleece or something that isn't gonna, I mean, they shouldn't eat fleece either, but um, I don't really think they'll mess. You just pay attention to your babies with any toys you give them is honestly the best advice I can give you. Um, I know the things my ferrets like to eat. I know the things they don't. So over, you know, that's kind of how I play. I play each toy by ear based on their experience. Okay, so this is on there. Not as nice as I would like, but okay. Now you have yourself a little guy. So with this, um, there's a couple ways you can do the bottom. You could cut these strips down a little bit and then make braids for each of the arms. So, which I guess we could have cut them in the beginning, but um, I think my ferrets like it kind of having its little legs like this, but I do want to tie this a little bit tighter so that it stays. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to tie every, I'm going to tie every one next, I'm going to tie them across from each other in just one knot. Um, but like I said, you could braid these if you want it, but you would have to cut the strips a little better. They're not, they're cut in, there's eight, so you would need um, a couple more strips to be able to do that. So I'm just tying knots, um, cat, like across from each leg. All right, now let me grab a piece of fleece because I do want to tie a piece of fleece around him and I might pick a different color just to make something stand out there. So I just went and got a different piece of fleece that's a different color um, and I'm just going to tie it around that band so that it hides it. And my octopus will just have like a little scarf. And you could, like I said, you could put eyes on this if you wanted. You could put eyes on it before you did this. There you have an octopus toy. The next one is a rope toy. Now, I make these for my ferrets because I made them for my dogs one year and my ferrets went crazy and loved the rope toy. So now I just make mini ones for the ferrets, which is what I'm going to do here. And if you want to make one for a dog, you would obviously make it bigger. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some strips of fabric. All right, so I'm just going to cut, hmm, let's do one and a half inch pieces of fleece. Okay, so now um, I'm just going to take, I'm going to do little ones. So I'm going to take three pieces and I'm going to do one blue and two cotton candies. Just going to put them together like this. I'm going to take and tie a knot at the top. I'm going to take something heavy. Um, I'm going to use this. It's not plugged in. I'm going to sit that on top. I'm going to cut these so that they are even lengths and then we're just going to braid them. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to tie a knot at the bottom. This is probably the easiest toy to make. And I don't know about you, but my parents just love like little things that they can chase around. And so do my dogs. If you're making this for a dog, you might want to make your pieces thicker so that um, you can make this stronger. For ferrets, it's probably fine. Okay, so for this next tutorial, this is probably one of my favorites. It is one of the easiest things to make. Um, I'm just going to cut a piece of fleece that's five inches wide. It's not very long because I'm making this small. If you wanted to make a huge giant pom-pom, you would want to make a longer piece. But this isn't going to be super, um, I don't need it to be super big. I just want a little tiny pom-pom. Hold on. And then we're also going to want to cut a five inch piece of fleece in another color. So we'll use this. In addition to this piece of fleece, you're going to want to cut yourself a piece of fleece that you can tie your pom-pom with. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of blue here, have ready when I'm ready to tie off. Okay, next, lay your piece out. 
and you're going to want to go about every two inch, every inch, go almost all the way to the center. You don't have to turn it around. I would turn your, I would walk around, but because I'm doing this, I don't want really to get in the camera's way. We're going to go to the center. We're going to cut directly across from the slits we just cut. Don't cut the center, though. You don't want to cut this in half. You just want to cut, as, you want to leave a little space in the center, about a half an inch, quarter inch. This will work. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to roll it. You want to keep your fingers in the center where there's no cut. You just want to roll. Keep rolling. And stop, you know, if you don't want it to be real big, then just stop it when you want to stop it because the more you fabric you roll, the more bigger it's going to be. Some people use a zip tie. Some people just do what I'm about to do, which is to take a piece of fleece, put it in the center, and do make sure if you're going to use a piece of fleece, you don't use the stretchy side because the stretchy side will break when you go to pull it tight. So we're just going to tighten this like this. You're going to pull that as tight as you possibly can, and then you're going to put a knot in it. And then I normally cut, give mine a little trim sometimes to make sure they're kind of even. Like if I have any that are super long, which is like this one. And those are your simple and easy toys to make for your ferrets, cats, dogs. No sew. Easy peasy. Look at this. Thank <laughs> you.